I have a video card that came back from repair. I can't put it into my main computer yet because I have to water block it. So I want to try it with just the stock air cooling that came with it. I need to put it into this older motherboard, uh, get power supply and everything all connected up. And this gives me the perfect opportunity to try out this open bench table BC1 that I bought last year. Didn't have a need for it until now. So my goal here is to assemble this and put the motherboard into it in order to be able to test the video card directly uh, with its stock cooler on it. So after a little bit of fiddling, a little bit of cable management, this is what I got. I got the open bench table, uh, open air bench, BC1. I mounted a motherboard on it. This happens to be a ASUS C170WS workstation motherboard. I think I got it in 2014 or 2015. Uh, it's got an i7-6700 on it. I have, um, I used it for just a little while until I upgraded to the 6950X uh, as, my, as my main machine. So this one has not had very much use at all. I need to put in an operating system. I need to verify that everything works. And let me give you a view of some of the, the bits and pieces. A little bit of Velcro to uh, tie the cables down. All in all, it's a nice little workbench. I, a um, couple of things to note. They have these little things here are the motherboard standoffs and you can choose to have either the pegged ones or the screw in type, but there's only eight of each and a typical ATX has nine mounting holes. So one of them um, is just resting on top of uh, the screw in one. They have a couple of extra screws here to plug stuff down in. These are, there's two different kinds. This side has the standard uh, machine screw size for anything that might need, uh, need that. And this side has the, um, I don't know what they're called, the other kind. <laughs> and that's what I used to do the power supply with. So comes with a couple of uh, bolt downs, bolt down screws, thumb screws. And all in all, uh, let me plug it all in, load up an OS and boot it up and see what we got, see if it even works by itself. It has an IGP, so I can, be, I can plug that into a monitor directly uh, with either DisplayPort or HDMI. So I'm gonna give that a try, see how far we get. And there we have it. I have a working machine. The Z170WS motherboard uh, is running. I have a one terabyte NVMe drive. It's got an i7-6700 running at four gigahertz and 32 gig of RAM running at 3600 megahertz. It's running out of the IGP right now. So I have that plugged in 
only. And now it's time to plug in and test the ASUS RTX 3090 Strix and see if it operates out, out of the box with um, coming back from repair, I should say. So let's give that a shot. I'll plug it in and show you the results. Okay, we have the GPU plugged in. I have both of these DisplayPort monitors plugged into the GPU. I unplugged it from the uh, IGP because I don't think you can run both at the same time. It doesn't extend the monitor, or maybe it does, maybe through HDMI, but I don't have an HDMI cable plugged in. Uh, looks like it's logging on. And there we have it. Uh, it needs to adjust its display settings a little bit in that. Let's plug that over to there. One and two. That should be good. And we're good to go. Let's try running a some 3D Mark. Let's see what kind of uh, performance, if we're getting what we're expecting from a 3090 performance. Okay, and there's our results. Graphics score 5368. Great. I'll burn it in for a little while and just to test it, make sure it's stable, and then I'll water block it and put it back in my computer.